Hello, this is Lachim Kantiwari and I welcome you into a new video tutorial. It's a brand new about the Power to 3 and the Python programming. Uh, here I'm gonna show you in this tutorial I will be using a Python code which will set and delete bucket policies on a Amazon S3. So let's get into the command window. Okay, the Python and then we need to import the Power to 3 library. And uh, after that, let's uh, create a client connection with the S3 uh, bucket and uh, now this three object has been created now let us find result is equal to s3 dot get underscore bucket underscore policy it's a bucket i'm gonna give name of my bucket it is my name buckets so the policy does not exist of course i have not set any policy to my new buckets my name buckets so that's why it is uh, giving that the policy does not exist that means we need to set a policy for our bucket so let's uh, give a bucket policy is equal to now here we need to set the version of the bucket policy it's a uh, 2020 uh, 2012 10 and 17 it's provided by amazon you can see on the internet on amazon web services website and then after that we need to provide the statement in the statement we need to provide sheet and the uh, add parameters effect principal action and resource right so the effect would be the allow and uh, the principal would be that means the access from anywhere that would be uh, a star between a, a single column okay and the action the action which we would be performing on the bucket that would be s3 full column and get object that means we can get any object from the s3 and the resource so the resource would be ARN AWS S3 double full colon triple full colon percentage that would be the bucket name. So that is the ARN resource request name that is the ARN right AWS resource name fine. So let's close the bracket and uh, then press the enter okay great so let's convert this policy to a json string and it is uh, converting into the json string json dot dumps and then bucket underscore policy press the enter oh something is wrong yes so json is not defined that's when we need to also import json here so let us import json and now run the policy okay great now we need to set the new policy to the given bucket so now here we have created the policy but now we have not set the policy yet so let us first check the uh, policy okay so the s3 put underscore bucket underscore policy the bucket name is my my name buckets and the policy is equal to bucket policy right so it is telling us some error the error is uh, error occurred when uh, doing with the <coughs> okay the version so the problem was with the version yes so the, we have corrected the version perhaps i think i have written misspelled there right okay so if you press the enter here now the json has set now set the policy and press the enter yes it is setting the policy and you can see here it has set the policy successfully to the bucket which we have created earlier so the retry attempts were the zero and the http stored status code is 204 right so the let's see let's uh, delete the uh, policy which we have set 
so the s3 dot delete underscore bucket underscore policy so here you can see there is a difference just uh, uh, delete and uh, put bucket policy right so thank you for watching this tutorial stay tuned for next one